What's going on, Paint family? I hope you're feeling good because you're looking good and I'm happy to be talking to you. This is Garrick Brown Art Studios and I am back with another video just for you. Baby, listen, yo, we are getting into some blooms today. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna kind of do like a deconstructed ombre bloom. So we're gonna take super vibrant colors and we're gonna dull them down a little bit and a little bit more to create three blooms on one canvas. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready to get started, so let's get started. Let's start this thing off with a little flash, a little bang, a little choo-choo train. Family, I'm sending you some positive vibes today. We are going to have some fun, sit back, relax, get you a nice little beverage. And with those vibes today, I want to remind you to do everything with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. All right, family, let me set the scene for you really quick. We are going to start out with these colors for a bloom. We're going to move to this set of colors and then we're going to move to this set. I'm wanting to create an ombre effect. So what I've done, I've pre-mixed some of my paints already because, you know, my watching me mix paints can be a little bit boring, but I did save one set that I am going to do on camera. The majority of my recipes all are about a three to one ratio with a little give or take because these are all different paint brands. So actually for this magenta color, I'm literally just going to take a smidge of this, a smidge of that to make a really light pink. I'm using a Naples yellow, um, which is much lighter in comparison to this gorgeous gold that we're going to be doing. And it's really super honey Dijon mustard color. The same goes for the blue. We're going to use a Payne's gray and then we're going to move to a cobalt blue and we're going to end with a nice wispy light blue permanent by Master's Touch. So without further ado, we're going to get this paint going. I'm going to show you my consistencies and we're going to get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mix this blue up really quickly. Um, the ratios are about uh, four parts pouring medium to one part paint. And this is Naples Yellow. It's actually a little bit darker than I was expecting. And for my magenta, which is gonna be more of like a light pink, I'm just gonna do a little squirt of this here color because we're going to add some white in there to make sure we have a really light pastel like color we're going to add a little bit of white to the yellow as well i'm going to add a little bit of blue uh excuse me i'm going to add a little bit of white to the blue as well um, because these colors are a little darker than i was expecting and if you're new to my channel, you may not know, it's very rare that I use exact recipes because every paint brand and even every bottle can be a little bit different. So I'm always making slight and minor adjustments. I'm super excited about this video today because my pouring medium today is Floetrol, American Floetrol. I have just put it in this container because I can pour out the exact amount that I want without pouring too much. I'm going to add a little bit of pink paint to our pink. And we're going to stir these colors up really quick. Right now we're at about a two to one ratio. I wanna make sure that I mix the paints up good so that there are no lumps. And then I'm gonna add the remaining amount. There's our beautiful blue.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our colors. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna add a little base paint, get this party started. All right, here we go with our first set. I'm gonna be layering each bloom the same. All right, going for our next set of colors here. So you're gonna notice that these colors are lighter. And we have our last set of colors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are our colors. And I'm going a bit on the wild side. We're gonna use two cell activators. I'm gonna use black and white. I just mixed these. And this is a four to one ratio with the black getting an extra splash of acrylic ink. And I am using Australian Floetrol for my in my cell activator today. Gorgeous cells. I have to be quick because this white is going to start sinking. So I'm going to move on to the next one.
Right. So time has elapsed, which has allowed the cells to really blossom and these blooms to really glow. I am happy with each of the blooms. Um, working with that hairdryer is tough. Look at those gorgeous peacock cells. All of our colors are showing through right there. And we have a couple peacocks trying to show up here. I love how the white and black didn't get all mixed up in these. So they're completely separate. I still use too much cell activator, especially in this one. But I'm hoping when we move some of this paint, it's going to really open up the cells. Do some tilting. So some of my cells are wonky. That's because I use too much cell activator. At this point, there's really nothing I can do about that. All right, so now I'm gonna do some embellishments. All right, so I'm liking it a little bit better because I embellished it a bit. And now I'm gonna add some swirls in. And we're gonna see how this all plays out. Oh, I'm loving that. That is giving this whole piece a different look. All right, we're gonna try it here. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to call this piece done. Um, I love the embellishments. It's definitely outside of my comfort zone. Um, 
I think I achieved the ombre effect to some degree. Uh, probably the blues aren't. They're, yeah, the blues aren't quite what I was going for, but let's get you guys in for a close up of some of my favorite parts. And I love this part right here. Oh, look at those gorgeous lines. And I like how the cells come off the canvas and this wispy area that I blew out. Oh, look at those pretty gold, deep gold colors showing out. And my blue, I love how the activator, the cell activator, just uh, stayed so separated. That's really hard to do. I gotta study that some more and see how I can do that on a regular basis. I love the pink and gold here. I like this little area. The peacock cells. And then we got our Eastery colors and more peacock cells popping up. Oh, look at this part. I hope you have had fun on this party train today. As always, you know I appreciate you watching. I'm trying to bring more things to the channel, um, some new techniques, you know, just freshen it up a bit. Um, and I hope you are enjoying uh, the things that I put out. I'm always open to some suggestions and ideas, leave comments, my email, contact me on Instagram, contact me on Facebook. Also have a new Facebook page called Garrett Brown Art Studios. I would love for you to join me on that platform as well as I will be releasing some content exclusive to Facebook only. But for now, it is time to go have a wonderful, productive day. Peace.